Hey guys, this is my second tutorial in my Apple Watch development series. And today I'm going to teach you how to share data between the iPhone and the Apple Watch. And this is particularly important because the Apple Watch would be useless if um, it wasn't able to access any of the data on the iPhone. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is we want to create um, an app group for a watch. And we can do that by going to the member center. Um, just sign in and go to iOS. Hit on certificates, IDs, and profiles. Click on IDs and go down to app groups. Okay, so click on app groups and let's make a new app group. I'm just going to call this sharing sharing data and for the ID we can call it again sharing data and let's hit continue let's register this and okay we're good and let's keep this page open because we're going to need to come back to this um, when we're actually making our app Okay, so let's go in our Xcode beta, and if you don't know how to how to set this up, or how to set the Apple Watch SDK, um, in my previous video I explained all of that, so take a look at that. Okay, so let's start by creating a new project. Um, this is going to be a single view application, I'm just going to call this sharing data tutorial and objective C iPhone and we're not going to be using core data and let's hit, just hit create okay uh, I'm just gonna hit always allow I'm not sure what that was alright so now we're here let's go to our storyboard okay let's click on our view controller and let's um, disable auto layout and size classes for just the purpose of this tutorial. We don't need those for now. Alright, now let's go to back to our storyboard, I'm sorry, and let's click on the assistant editor, which is going to help us look at our storyboard and our code at the same time. Alright, now let's go to our .h file and let's make three things. Okay, we're going to have one label, and this label is going to display some text. Um, we're going to have one text field, which the user can input some text into. And we are going to have one button. And let's just call this button save for now. Okay, so when the user... Um, finishes inputting their text into the text field and they click save our text is going to display on this label as well as get saved in our app group and then our apple watch will be able to access that save data okay so let's start by initializing these in our dot h so i'm just going to call this my label enter and let's call this my text field art and now let's save this and go to our dot m file all right in our dot m file we want to give an action to our button our save button so let's again control uh click drag and let's call this save info hit enter and let's make some space okay in here what we want to do is get the input from the text field and display it on to the label so I'm going to define a new string and a string um, star my string is equal to okay actually before we do that let's synthesize our label and our text field so at synthesize my label semicolon and at synthesize my text field semicolon 
and all right, let's go back to this. Is equal to um, square brackets my text field text text whoops and um, what we want to do is we want to display the text on the label so we're going to do self dot my label dot text is equal to my string semicolon and let's just see if everything's working so let's hit run and uh, let's type something in like hi and okay it works him him works too okay let's go back here let's stop our simulator and now we want to go to um, sharing data tutorial this is gonna have all our preferences let's click on that uh, you can close you can go back to the single view um, let's click on that let's go to capabilities scroll down and you'll see app groups over here we want to turn on app groups and um, whatever development team you're using for me it's just my name um, choose that and our app groups should show up and as we can see back here we ch we made an app group called group dot sharing data and we want to select that same one over here okay so now app groups are on so let's go back to our view controller dot m file and let's also save this um, let's save the input from our text field into um, uh, into the app group so we're gonna use a class called ns user defaults to um, save our data and my shared defaults, yeah, defaults um, is equal to square bracket n or square bracket again n s user defaults alloc okay so we want to make this instance and init with suit name and we want to type in the name of our app group so we have to uh, and it's a string so at then um, two parentheses or quotes sorry and let's go back to our app groups and let's just copy this and let's go back to our Xcode beta and hit paste alright and that's just the name of our app group and let's um, save let's save this string into our uh, shared defaults instance so my shared defaults set object um, our user input is going to be my string and um, for key so this is what how we're going to be able to access that um, we're just going to call it this this is just any name we're just going to call this um, saved user input okay and we want to synchronize that with the shared defaults so my shared defaults synchronize okay all right so now what should have happened is when the user entered their text it's going to display on the label as well as it's going to synchronize in this instance that we've made of the ns user defaults class okay so as we uh, did in our previous tutorial we made um, a new target for our Apple watch and we're gonna do that again so we want to go to file new target watch app hit next um, uncheck this notification scene and uncheck the glance uh, language is gonna be objective C and let's hit finish okay so again a bunch of folders showed up here 
Let's open the extension folder and the watch app folder. Let's open our interface and let's hit on the assistant editor. All right, so again, we want to put in two things. We'll put in um, a label. All right, there we go. And let's put in a button. And I'm just going to call that button show. Okay, so let's go back to our .h file. And let's initialize this label. I'm just going to again call it my label. Doesn't really matter what you call it. Uh, and let's go to our .m file. And then we're going to define an action for this button. And I'm just going to call that show info. Or show user info. Okay. And what this is going to do is it's going to retrieve the info from the shared defaults instance that we made back here. And it's going to display it to my label. All right. So again, let's type in ns user. Actually, let's copy it. I think that's safer. ns user defaults. Let's just copy this one line over here. This ns user defaults my share defaults alloc. And it with sweet name. Let's copy that. Let's go back to our watch interface controller and let's paste it there. Okay. So now um, what we want to do is we want to synchronize. So my share defaults sync synchronize. Why isn't that? Why isn't this showing up? My share defaults. Hmm, this is odd. Let me just copy this also. Shouldn't do that. Okay. And just paste it in this area. Okay, and then finally self dot my Label. Aha. Okay. We need to synthesize the label. At synthesize my label. Self dot my label dot text is equal to my share defaults string string for key colon at saved user input input and in fact just to be safe let's just go back over here and let's just copy this and paste it over here just in case Okay, so hopefully this worked. I don't know what was going on back there. And let's, um, we have to click on sharing data tutorial watch app. Uh, make sure it's an iPhone 6 or something above the iPhone 5. And ideally it should start working. Let's go back here, stop this. Edit schemes. Um, watch app. Oh, in our app, we also, I almost forgot this. In our app, we also want to enable the, uh, the sh shared, um, the the group the app groups so let's click on that capabilities app groups turn this on sharing data and it's just the same thing as before I almost forgot that I'm sorry 
build succeeded sharing data tutorial hi save and show okay him save and show him okay her it five ten and that should work too okay so everything's working out fine let me just recap on what I did because the last few things may have been confusing I apologize for that okay so back in our interface dot controller dot m file um, in for my watch app um, all I did was synthesize the label from the dot h okay so all you have to do is right under the implementation type in at synthesize my label and down here I defined a method for that button that we made on the watch itself I called that method show user info and then I made an instance of the NS user defaults class and I made an instance I allocated um, some memory and I in it with sweet name so and then um, the name for that was the app group that I created so that was group dot sh sharing data and that's what we created in when we registered our app groups on the developer dot apple website okay and then back here all I did was I synchronized the share defaults instance and then um, I set the label um, on my watch app as what we stored with the info that we stored um, from the actual iPhone app and I retrieved um, that info and that info was called the key for that was called saved user input and we can see that over here when we saved um, the input from this uh, from the label um, we saved that as saved user input and then when we retrieved it over here, we retrieved it from using that same key called saved user input. Okay, um, so I hope I explained it well. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you have any more questions or if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see next, um, also leave a comment, uh, hit the like button, and subscribe for updates. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.